speaking of my hometown region of the great city of Eureka and the surrounding environs, I'm going to bring in now a fellow who's doing a big event there later on in the summer. And I want to thank uh, Eureka Police Chief Mike Wiegand to hook, for hooking me up with these guys. He and uh, Fire Chief um, Greg Brown are always on the lookout for stuff like this because they, they are so dedicated to not only being in the emergency services world and the military world, but also helping people in those worlds. And here's another great way for us to help. And joining us now here on the Annie Fry Show is Dan Vargas, the founder and president of Operation Triage, a U.S. Uh, Marine veteran. Dan, thank you so much for your service. Thank you for what you're doing now in serving our country. And welcome to the Annie Fry Show. Uh, thank you. So just one correction. I'm a United States Air Force veteran. Air Force veteran. Very good. Very good. Well, thank yeah, you for your I don't service. Take, I don't want to get uh, any Marines mad at me. No, we don't. <laughs> I, I understand how that is. Uh, I have a lot of friends in all the different branches. I get it. <laughs> so, uh, Dan, first of all, tell us about Operation Triage. I, what is Operation Triage? What do you all do? Uh, we're a 5013C that was established to help uh, veterans, active duty military, first responders, uh, that are needing a hand up. Uh, you know, we all come to a point in our lives where uh, we might be going through something where we need financial emergency help, um, home repairs, home remodels due to injuries. So we're to help those that are, that are basically providing the blanket of freedom we sleep under. So our goal is to help those that never ask for anything. And, uh, Dan, I've noticed the most successful charities, they always figure out a, sh- uh, a shtick, and I don't say that in a bad way. They figure, out a, they figure out a neat thing, a hook, something to get people interested, something to people get excited where they're going to get something out of it, but they also feel good giving back through it. And it looks like you all have found uh, the sweet spot on that. You've created a, uh, a, a, a mission uh, through you've, – you've got this mission going through a neat event called Freedom Jam. So have you been doing Freedom Jams for a while, and what are Freedom Jams? Well, actually, Freedom Jam is, is, is basically set up by Brian uh, and a group of volunteers there out of Missouri, which have uh, really taken to heart our, our nonprofit. And they put on this event. Every, uh, this is the second year. They put it on last year in COVID, during COVID, wow. which was really a hard year for us to raise funds. But they were very succe- successful with last year, even during COVID going on, to raise funds. And they're doing it again this year. Um, you know, just like a lot of nonprofits last year, we took a big hit of uh, not being able to help as many as we could or do fundraisers like we usually do. But Brian and his crew stuck to stuck to their guns and was able to pull off a successful event. They had 11 bands show up as an all-day event, um, and they're doing it again this year, and we're hoping it's even bigger and better than the first year. Fantastic. So uh, hats off to everybody in there, Missouri because, you know, we can't do what we do without – the, the public's help. You know, we're asking for a dollar here, a dollar there. If everybody gave us a dollar, we could do a lot of things to help change a lot of lives. So I noticed you're uh, uh, bringing Freedom Jam uh, to the St. Louis region, and Freedom Jam is coming to uh, Brookdale Farms out in uh, beautiful Eureka, Missouri. I know where that is. It's about five minutes from my house. Saturday, August 28th. Uh, tell us uh, what folks can expect at Freedom Jam this year at Brookdale Farms on Saturday, August the 28th. Oh, my God. We're going to have 11 bands. Uh, it's going to be an all-day event starting at 11 a.m. You pay $30 to get in. We're going to have uh, attractions for the kids to do, food vendors. Uh, we'll have a booth there to explain more of our, our programs, and we'll have um, a silent auction going on. Uh, and it's just a great way of camaraderie. It'll be a lot of veterans coming out to, to attend, and hopefully some first responders from the area. Uh, and it's just a way to get together and show support for those who provide so much for us. Um, you know, a lot of people forget that we've had, you know, we've been at war the last 20 years in Afghanistan. We're finally pulling out of there. But just because we're pulling out of the war doesn't mean the need's not there. We have so many veterans that are dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injuries, the signature uh, injuries of these wars, mm-hmm. that they come home and, and the, there's a lot of resources not there for them. So we're just trying to do our part in helping them. And, it, and the thing I love about Operation Triage is we think outside the box. We're not cookie cutter where we have – hey, we only do this one thing, and, and if we can't help you, we're sorry. No, we find a way to help all veterans in need. Uh, and if we can't do it, we'll find a nonprofit that can help them. I'm on your uh, Facebook page right now uh, for Freedom Jam. And if you, go to, if you go to Facebook and just type in Freedom Jam 2021, you'll see all the things that the, you can expect at the concert, all the ways you can contribute, uh, how to purchase tickets, so on and so forth. It's Saturday, August 28th, 1130 a.m. to 1030 p.m. So, uh 
So, Dan, you could go out at any point during the day, right? You can just go out, you know, get tickets ahead of time, go out, whatever you need to do during the day, right? Just come and go as you please kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, just come and go, bring the family. It's a family It's a family event. Uh, we look forward to everybody coming out from the area. Uh, we're doing a lot of things in the Missouri area to help veterans. Uh, I was actually stationed at Whiteman Air Force Base. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite duty assignments that was there. So I know how the Missouri people are and how supportive they are of, of their first responders and military. So we look forward to seeing a lot of people come out and, you know, enjoy the show. But realize also what you're mainly coming out is to help support those who are there for us. And so it's a great time to, to enjoy yourself, have a great time, but you're also giving back at the same time. Yep, says all proceeds raised will benefit veterans, active military, and first responders. Uh, Dan, I imagine you have all kinds of food and stuff like that as well. People can just, they can spend the day there too if they want. Yes, sir. We'd love to have them out there for the whole day. Come out and mingle, make some new friends, and learn more about what we're doing. Um, enjoy some great upcoming bands that you'll probably see later on in the future that are going to be big headliners. So come and meet them now. And uh, enjoy, enjoy the day. It'll be a beautiful day, especially after with COVID, with everything that's gone on with COVID. What a way to get out and celebrate freedom. And and I love the the top post you have, the pin post on your page. You have it you have it right there in full Technicolor uh, about how that Freedom Jam and, and Operation Triage is a long post, but it's worth reading. I just read through it. Uh, it. It shows how the money is being utilized to help the veterans with all, all kinds of things, right? Home repairs, remodeling, it, providing so many services for, free, for veterans who may not know where else to turn. Yes, sir. Ver- veterans and first responders, we do home repair, home remodeling. We uh, pay for funeral expenses for veterans, for elderly veterans that passed away, and the family didn't have money to, bar- to bury the veteran. Uh, we put in ramps. We've don- gotten don- donated wheelchairs to veterans in need. Uh, we've had donated vehicles that we repaired and given them to veterans that need them. Just a full gamut of out of the box. You know what the need is is to make their life better. Fantastic, Dan Vargas. Thanks so much for joining us today. The founder and president of Operation Triage and an Air Force veteran. Uh, they, they're bringing Freedom Jam right here to the St. Louis area. They've also got it, uh, I believe, in other places around Missouri. You go to Freedom Jam 2021 on. Facebook. Dan, thanks for everything you've done for our country and everything you continue to do for all of our veterans, uh, military folks, and first responders. Thank you, sir, and thank you for the time to let us get this word out, and thank you to everybody in Missouri for for always supporting these causes, and hopefully we get a a, a lot of people out there and uh, able to lift up a lot of families in that area that need our help. Fantastic. Thank you, Dan. Godspeed to you. Thank you. God bless. Okay, thank you. There we go. That sounds like a great Hey, Tim, Brookdale Farms, let me tell you, <clears throat> my buddy, I'm going to give Jerry Kirk free plug here. Uh, he's a uh, former uh, St. Louis County police officer. He got injured in the line of duty and, and basically created, he's an entrepreneur. He, uh, he, left the, he left the force after being on the force for a long time. He had a, he had a line of injury. He had a line of duty injury. And he said, you know, I think I'm going to go do something else now. And uh, he, uh, he's the guy who does the carriages down at the ballpark. That's one of his businesses. And then he created a home for the horses out in Eureka at Brookdale Farms. And Brookdale Farms has become like the primary business now. He went from having the horses out there to like having a little, um, not little, It's it, he built a pavilion. He had some outdoor events, kind of some two, three season events. And he started doing like 5K runs and mud runner runs and things like that. And then he's like, you know, people like coming out here. He built an event space called The Barn. And it looks like a good old fashioned barn. It's new, but it looks old. You know, it, mm-hmm. it actually has some old, stuff incorporated in it, a lot of brick and stone and things and outdoor fireplaces. And so that turned into a, a venue uh, where there's like weddings and birthday parties and even dance recitals during COVID, you know, because Jefferson County was one of the free counties. And you could do stuff there all very safely done. I attended some stuff there. And then I hear, he told me the other day, he's built a new venue. And so I mean, talk about like something from nothing. Love I mean, it. literally just bought a bunch of land, a bunch of it floodplain <laughs> out in Jefferson County, just south of Eureka. Uh, and turning it into like a destination spot, they do pumpkin patch, they do so scarecrow cool. stuff, they do. Now he now it, it's it he he it, he does float trip stuff on, on the big river there, mm-hmm. and so like from one little seed of an idea into something that just keeps continuing to grow and grow and grow, and he does so much stuff where he just donates his space and his land and his his venue sites to things like Freedom Jam, mm-hmm. and he does a lot of other stuff as well. So just a great American. Yeah, so big shout out to Jerry. And now all of his friends, Chief Brown and Wigan, are like, why are you saying nice things about Jerry Kirk? You know, they, <laughs> they tease him endlessly. You know, It's so. really great whenever you see someone take something like that and really give back to the community in some way. I mean, it's really hard to get 